Hi guys, it's Ashley. Did my glasses glare? Kind of. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something fun. So, over the weekend, okay, let's give a backstory. So, we're going to be opening this bag, this giant bag, um, and it's kind of a little bit of a mystery. So, back in 2010, um, when I was a freshman in college, I um, was collecting Cabbage Patch Kids mostly, but a couple of other things. Um, but it was before I was a serious collector. And then these things got put into my mother's attic, um, and they were there for probably um, 13 years at this point. Um, I like moved out, I bought a home, I did all these things and these are just there and her attic um, has been kind of like ransacked over the years between like me and my brothers and stuff putting stuff up there I think there was a raccoon up there at some point and these things weren't like in bags or like stored very well but um, so they might be a little icky but I have two big black trash bags like this full and then um, one big tote so we're going to go through them together and we're going to kind of decide which Cabbage Patch Kids I should keep. None of these I don't think are 80s. These were the ones that were like 2005s and kind of the Cabbage Patch that I, weren't, I wasn't as into at the time. So um, we'll see now which ones I want to keep. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what's in this bag. Now these are gr gross, so... I'm actually kind of scared um, because there could be spiders or bugs and stuff. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting freaked out. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna have to kind of break it a little. So the first thing I see on top is actually a um, fur skin. If you don't know what a fur skin is, they're like um, these plushies. Um, this is Hattie. She actually still has her original little book. Um, yeah, she's been in my mom's attic for 13 years at this point. Um, I'm going to wash her, so I'm going to have to remove her book from her. Um, these were made kind of around the same time as the 80s Cabbage Patch Kids, and they were kind of like a little series um, by Xavier Roberts as well. So there she is, there's Hattie. Um, we can look at her book if you want. Actually, maybe I'll do something another time where we look through the book. Because I'll remove it from her and then we can look through it. So we have her, we have another first skin. Ah, these are so yucky. Okay. I, he has like kind of, ah! Okay. It might have just been the string of my pants. So, um, I think it was. Like my sweatpants, like the string of them, like touched me in the, I thought it was a spider. Okay. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but we have him. He has a little rip in his pants. Maybe he was chewed. I don't know. Here he is. He's a little more yucky than Hattie. Okay. So the first kit that I see is a preemie. An 85 preemie. Um, number three head mold, the green eyes, and he's a dirty guy. He's yucky, but here he is. And then I see, um, I think this is Mattel. Oh, it's actually Hasbro. Um, this doll with the plastic head, it has something maybe like in here. 
Um, there's definitely like critters in her hair. Um, and probably in the diaper. There's this one. I'm not sure what this one does. If you know more about this one, let me know. But I'm gonna move on. Um, this is another Mat Mattel baby. Right? 1995 Mattel yeah she's actually pretty cute and I think this is her original clothes she's really small I actually really like this one I think I'll be keeping this one um, she just needs a little bath we have sorry um, this really really cute girl so she's a 2005 play along. Um, yeah, definitely keeping. She has her original bows, um, the silk dress. Like she can go back in this outfit. Like she's actually in really good condition and she has a really good face. She's adorable. She has double poop. She's like a double poodle ponies. Yeah, I really like her. She is my favorite so far. I'm really happy to have her because back at that time when I was going to thrift stores, these were literally everywhere now I can't find them um, we have a play along pony I'm pretty sure this is play along um, see if I can find the year yeah 2005 so it's definitely play along and it's completely plush I know some cabbage patch had those like um, hard like the vinyl same as the cabbage patch heads but the 2005 ones are actually completely plush ponies it's a really cool thing to find up there um we have a number four beanie butt baby um he is actually a transition kid because he has the Hasbro tag. Um, his nose is a little scraped off. I don't know if you can tell. Like right here on this side. Um, but he's otherwise in good condition. I don't think that he has mold in his head. He looks pretty good. So I'm going to try to clean him up because I've been wanting a beanie butt and I don't have one in my collection. Um, my first Cabbage Patch Kid, my first Coleco Cabbage Patch Kid was actually a Beanie Butt Baby. And then I have, I'm pretty sure, oh my god. I'm pretty sure. this is a birthday kid I really don't want to touch it because there's so much stuff on it I'm just gonna add it over here to this pile I would really like to keep her and her be cute but I don't know guys I do not know I'm like getting scared more and more scared as I get to the bottom of the bag okay We have a bath baby. She's from Mattel. She's like completely vinyl. Green eyes. Um, we have a missing a baby with a missing head, but I think that. so scared that there's gonna be something in the bag that's not like a cabbage patch kid okay okay so we do have her and I feel like originally her clothes probably weren't eat up but there was some kind of animal up there like eating on these I'm scared it's in the bag I know there's nothing in here because like I threw them down because these were just like loose all over the attic I threw them down well my brothers helped me and then like my sister-in-law put these all into the bag so 
there shouldn't be anything big in the bag like but for some reason I feel like there's something scary in there okay cool we have a 2005 um, newborn it has something hard on the inside this one's actually really cool I was hoping there would be some TRU kits in here we have a 2005 um, play along another little um, newborn and our final thing in the bag is this little girl she is a Mattel kid she has a big battery box inside she's actually pretty cute um, I like her dress and it doesn't look like it's chewed up or anything okay so that's what I found that 2005 play along is definitely my favorite thing that I found um, let me know what you think about this and let me know if you want part two because I have a whole nother trash bag and a whole nother bin. Um, yeah, so next step is to get these kids cleaned up because okay, that's all for today. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, stay whimsical. Bye guys.